Hello. I have a comment for this. As no one has com commented on the previous comment I made, I'm going to do a video comment. In this video, Heidi Rathjen has been touted as courageous. This is a woman who locked herself in a room while other people were shot, killed by a single psycho with a weapon killing unarmed victims who after the tra tragedy had occurred went on to fight for the to fight for people's rights to be unarmed victims this woman has done more for gun gun-toting maniacs than the NRA, CSSA, NFA, any pro-gun organization ever will because she is ensured that U of T, Durham, Durham College, University of, University of Ontario Institute of Technology, Stratford, Sir Stanford Fleming, Every university will be completely disarmed, completely opened for the next Mark Lapine to kill as many women as he or she wants. Now I ask you, I ask all of you, I ask the fucker who made this video, why should we only care? about a coward's view. Why are we calling her courageous? You mean if I'm involved at a location where there's shooting and I lock myself in a room and hide, that I'll be courageous if I support gun control afterwards? No. It's not courage, it's cowardice. If she had have found something, found a way to fight, risked her life, she would have been courageous. Instead, she ensures that the next time a sad, sick individual decides that he was screwed over by some fucking bitches, that he will be completely unopposed and that no one will stop him. That's all gun control does. Protects rapists, serial killers, bigots. It doesn't protect the victim. In fact, with our stricter gun control and the current want for a ban that some politicians claim we need I foresee that unless, like at Dawson College, where a police officer was on scene with a firearm, the next time it won't be 19, it won't be 32. I foresee that a single person could easily kill over a hundred people. Now. I'm not saying where it's going to happen because I don't know where it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen because Miss Rathjen doesn't want people to defend themselves. She wants to think that if there are no guns, it won't happen. Well, the next criminal, all the guns could be banned in the world. He'll just get an illegal one. Just like the guy who shot Ibrahim Brown whose father went on public saying that I'm a hunter and I don't think you need a handgun. <laughs> yeah, because self-defense is not a reasonable thing. That a woman raped and then murdered with her own underwear is morally superior to a woman explaining to the police why her attacker has a 45 ACP slug lodged in his brain. Keep up, don't please, 
Coalition for Gun Control, don't keep up your work. It's bad work. And honestly, you think you're doing a service to the women whose pictures you show on your website? Did you ask them if they wanted to be martyrs for your cause? Did you ask them if they supported your cause? They're dead because the law said they couldn't protect themselves. Virginia Tech was the same. Virginia Tech, Co Virginia Tech College made it a po school policy to forbid concealed carry. They said that by banning concealed carry and the possession of firearms on their campuses, that it would make the students, visitors, staff safer. Well, to the 17 people who are lined up and murdered, well, too bad. <laughs> he fell for it. Ch Cho, Mark Lapine, serial killers in general, support gun control. And they will support you, Miss Rathjen. And your current, I guess your current follower or predecessor or I don't know what she is Miss Wendy Cookie they will support you because they know that the laws you're fighting for don't apply to them because they're going to break them anyways so when you go to sleep tonight thinking oh I feel safe keep in mind that somewhere in Canada a woman is being raped and murdered because of your laws. Bye.